with the pick 211 in the 2019 FF Dynasties. Mock it up before you fuck it up. We got the Hershey Squirts, and Ertz is the Squirts part because he has Ertz. It's not spelled correctly. It's spelled like Zach Ertz. And he has got Ertz, so good for him. Good, yeah, he's good for you. He squared away with Cole uh, Hardman was your one one pick for him or yeah. one eleven pick for him, Big Co. I took Hardman at one eleven and yeah, like you said, he's got Ertz, he's got Goddard, and he's got Vance McDonald, who I think could be sneaky good this year for the Pittsburgh uh Steelers there. Sure. Um I think I went this is I missed an opportunity earlier when I was going off on my tangent about being in Colorado and the auction draft was going on and I like running backs and I ended up loading up on receivers because they were cheaper and that's really where I found the best value in the draft. This team doesn't need necessarily a wide receiver. His strengths at tight end with Zach Ertz and a tight end premium and having Goddard. That's like your strength, obviously. But he's got Nick Foles and Carson Wentz. They were backups to each other, but uh, now Foles is his own self. he got his own starting gig. But he's got Curtis Samuel, Michael Thomas. He's got Javorius Allen. And Diggs. <laughs> he, does he now? <laughs> he does. I had to send out a flyer, <laughs> uh, uh, just a 17th round rookie pick to uh, get Buck Allen from him before this thing airs. Uh, He's got Stephon Diggs and Michael Thomas, absolute stud wide receivers. And he's got Curtis Samuel, Tyrell Williams to throw a couple Love out there. Curtis. So he's got some depth at wide receiver along with some high-end wide receiver value. He's got the high-end tight end value. He needs running backs. He does. Kareem Hunt took a yeah, he's hit got, for him, but he'll got, be back. He's got Kareem Hunt. And, and Alex and, Collins. That was a bummer. Alex Collins just tanked Don't out. Don't roll on. around with a pound of weed in your car, Bubba. What the hell? <laughs> Get somebody You're getting else paid like decent around. money to play in the NFL. What yeah. an idiot. Don't do it. So Must I, have been some good-ass weed. He, this, dude needs, this dude needs a running back. And I wanted to take him Benny Snell, but... This is the thing where in the middle of the draft, you're on the clock and you're like, all right, well, I could take Benny Snell. He needs a running back. But if Connor stays healthy for a while, Benny Snell is just going to sit there probably and maybe not do a whole lot. And he got Jalen Samuels as they're mixing in back. And we don't know what that Steelers running back feels going to look like if if uh, Connor stays healthy. And so I'm like, all right, well, I got him Deontay Johnson for the Steelers and that's a play on maybe somebody to get a value spike quicker than a backup running back you're waiting on injury for. I, I would love to have Benny Snell on this team, but I felt like with the the chance that you can strike it rich with another Steelers wide receiver, obviously Antonio Brown takes his 400 annual targets and goes west. See ya. So I'm like, all right, well, let's grab Deontay Johnson here and take a chance, you know, Maybe maybe he had, doesn't have the deepest wide receiver in the core of the league, but he's got top heavy, and then Curtis Samuel and gives you some depth there. Adam Humphreys could maybe catch a couple balls for him. Doesn't really, and he's, I picked him Hardman in the first. Throw Deontay Johnson on that wide receiver core. It needs a running back badly, but I just felt like let's get some other, let's get this other player who could who could strike it rich quicker. Now again, for the seventeenth time, even this episode, Connor goes down. Maybe Benny Snell's right in there in week two. You never yeah. know. But not knowing that, I think Deontay Johnson's going to get just as good a chance as maybe outside of a handful of those earlier wide receivers we talked about to get out there and, and play early and, and maybe, you know, in, a, in, a, in an open target situation and behind Juju. Again, Vance McDonald is, is it's, I say, is sneaky good, but he's not going out there demanding targets. Mm-hmm. You got Juju demanding targets and pretty much it's wide open. Yeah. So, I mean,. You, I think you don't have Bell anymore. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, Deontay Johnson profiles is probably a slot receiver, um, not overly big, one hundred eighty three pounds, and not overly fast. Um, Four, te- five, didn't didn't test something. well, which I think a lot of people didn't enjoy. Um, Steelers so enjoyed it. It'll be yeah. So it's it's it, that when we talked about the Eagles, people being like, oh, you know, you're paying attention to the Eagles and kind of what their front office is up to. Well, you know. Obviously, they just the Steelers just took Juju Smith-Schuster and turned him into a big household name, and they're comfortable letting Antonio Brown bully his way out of a contract and let Juju be the guy over there. So everyone's excited, and the Steelers drafting great wide receivers. All of a sudden, everyone just thinks they pull them because they drafted Antonio Brown a long time ago, and 
They hit on Juju. Of course, they're the best wide receiver drafting class well, ever, Emmanuel which is good. Sand, man, they which have, is good, they sure. Got, but Mike they, Wallace was good. They yeah, drafted, yeah, sure. they drafted sure. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Service. Yeah, I said Antonio. San Antonio. San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio Holmes. Holmes. Emmanuel I mean, they, Sanders They've been pretty good at drafting him, but they've had, pretty their, good. they've had fair share of misses. So it's not like Emmanuel Sanders was lighting shit up in Pittsburgh. Um, well, he was behind Mike Wallace and Antonio Brown. Yeah. But I, I don't I don't dislike taking Deontay Johnson. I'm... I'm a little curious as to see where Juju plays and how Juju plays. It's, I don't know where Antonio Brown was lining up most plays. I didn't go check it out, but I think Juju did some work from the slot and did yeah. a decent amount of work from the slot. And it seems like I don't. I just don't know how I, I like James Washington a whole lot more than I like Deontay Johnson, especially playing outside. Oh yeah, me so too. he gives you your outside player in my opinion. And then um, they do have Moncrief on the roster, which. We don't know how that's going to go. I'm all for taking the swing on Deontay Johnson. I'm, I'm not as excited about him as maybe some other people are. I just don't know how it's going to play out. I think it'll be interesting to see if Juju can actually take over and be the Antonio Brown and people are just anointing him already. And, it, you know, I think it's a little easier to operate when Antonio Brown's the guy outside. No doubt. Moving all around. No so doubt. I don't have any doubt that Juju is going to be a really good player. He's already shown me that he's a good player and, and a good seemingly human being. Um, it'll just be interesting to see this guy seemingly needs to play in the slot. And Juju, I think, did a lot of his damage out of the slot. Um, so we'll see whether Juju can take the Antonio Brown role and how much Deontay Johnson is able to get on the field. Because I don't know how comfortable I am with him being an outside player. Their route running is basically what everyone loves about Deontay Johnson. That's all I've heard. Uh, and I've watched some games and it's it's pretty good. But I wasn't like it wasn't super exciting for me but the Steelers liked it and you guys pointed out all the players that he's that they've drafted so good stab yeah for no I mean this late in the draft what what are you gonna do yeah I think it's a great play at this late in the draft 100 percent. right so I'm I'm, I'm not I'm gonna read some that. people I've seen Deontay Johnson be at the top half of the second and people reaching for him so yeah I I think I'm good there I I didn't know a ton about this guy before Big Co made this pick. Tried to watch some some tape on him and do some some research. And there's nothing that's like, oh wow, about this guy. He doesn't have any features or big playability. It's it's the route running, I guess. And it's it's hard to watch wide receiver tape. If if I could just see replays of of a close up of that guy to actually watch what happens in the play, it'd be a lot easier to to tell. But it's 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 a grueling process to try and find the the, the good bits of tape to to actually see something worth seeing. Uh, watching it, I felt better about James Washington. You know, I was like, well, this guy's not going to come in and take this job from James Washington, I don't believe. I, I think James Washington is a much better receiver than this guy. So it made me a little bit more excited about James Washington. But, I mean, I can't argue with the pick this late, and, and the Steelers know what they're doing when it comes to wide receivers, and, and they took him decently high. So, yeah, I mean, They got line of Swedes in there and, and – uh who was the guy that we were just talking about that was on the Chiefs and then he wasn't on the Chiefs? Sammy Coates. They got Sammy Coates's and Lima Swedes in there as well. So they have misses at receiver. Sure. Uh, but a ton of good ones. Sure. As many good ones as any other team you could even think of it recently. And it's not even the good ones. It's the fact that they took the, the like you said, the Antonio Browns and those types of guys that nobody had ever heard of. It wasn't a bunch. They, they didn't take like three first rounders in a row and just have studs. The Lions tried that 10 years ago with the old Charles Johnsons and those types of guys, and none of those worked until mm -hmm. they got Calvin. Um, well, and it's just this was a pretty bad franchise. It's a pretty was? good franchise, you know. Still is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's tough being a Lions fan, yeah. buddy. It's toxic. They got bad. The boys can't even get good water. <laughs> Blow the belt. All right. Does that wrap up uh, Deontay That's Michigan, Johnson? <laughs> let's, uh, let's get on to the last pick of the second round. 